All right, guys, we're back with the card shark showdown well we've been having a lot of problems with the money cards lately but hopefully this time around we won't have problems um go ahead and say who your um opponent is steve and i'm so glad that she accepted our next opponent is the mother of robin Moore, and she and loves to fish her name is jennifer fleming how you doing uh jennifer i'm all right so you love the fish, huh? I like the fish, yeah. Oh, okay. Have you ever uh, played? Well, have you ever heard of the game show Card Sharks before? Yeah, I have. Okay. Do you need me to explain the rules, or you're fine? No, I think I'm good. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna just get right down to the game, then. We're not gonna waste some time. And um, Steve, this question is going to you because you're the champion. Okay. Okay. All right, Steve, we asked 100 college sorority women. Have you ever told a man at a party you were going to the bathroom just so you could give him the slip? How many said they have? Wow. wow. I'm going to say... Going with 25. All right, Jennifer, is it higher or lower than 25? Higher. Going higher. If it's high, Jennifer, you'll play your cards. If not, it goes to Steve. The actual number of um, college sorority women that did give the man the slip is 71. Way higher. Good job, uh, Mrs. Uh, Flammy. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Fleming. All right. You won the question. So your opening card is a nine. You can choose to play it or change it. Play. She's going to play it. All right, and what's your call, higher or lower? Lower. Lower than a nine. It's a six. He's going for it. Higher than a six? No, it's a three. All right, Steve, you get a free chance. Um, you get a, your card is a six, Steve. You, you must play it. This is fun already. Higher. Higher than a six. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, higher than a six. It's a seven. Lower. Going for it. Lower than a seven? No, it's an eight. Crap. All right, well, no progress, but this question is going to Mrs. Fleming. Here's your question, Mrs. Fleming. Let's hear it. We asked 100 bachelors, have you ever chicken out of asking a pretty girl for a date because you were sure she said no? <laughs> this is fun already. How many bachelors said they have chicken out of asking a girl on a date? 82. Oh, 82. She believes that's very high. All right, Steve, what do you think about that? Is it higher or lower than 82? Ooh. Lower. One lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of bachelors that said they have chicken out on asking a girl for a date is... 71. It's a little lower. Good job, Steve. All right, Steve, you have the six showing. What do you want to do with that six? I'll go to the top. Higher. Okay, she, he's going for it. Higher than a six? No. It's a five. All right, Mrs. Fleming, free chance. You must play off the nine. Lower. Okay, she's going for it. Lower than a nine? It's a three. What was it? My thing. It was a three. You got a three. three. Sorry. Messed up. Higher. Okay, higher than a three. It's an ace. A C E. What was it? An ace. A C E. A lower. Lower than an ace. An eight. Seven plus one. Mm, higher. 
She's going for it. If it's higher, ma'am, you win $1,000, and you'll be halfway there for going for $144,000. If it's lower, though, you go back to your nine. Higher than an eight? No, it's a seven. No progress, and we go on to the next question, and it goes back to you, Steve. Steve, we asked 100 fashion models in New York City. Were you a beautiful child? How many models said they were a beautiful child? I imagine there were a bunch, bunch, a bunch. Let's go with 63. Going 63. All right, uh, Jennifer, is it high or lower than 63? Again, my, it's glitching. I can't hear a lot of it. Okay, yes, ma'am. We asked 100 fashion models in New York City, were you a beautiful child? How many models said they were a beautiful child? And Steve said 63. Oh, higher. Going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of models that said they were a beautiful child is... 55 it is not higher, it's a little lower. So Steve, you get it. Wow. All right, Steve, you have you have the six. What do you want to do? Uh, let's, uh, let's throw it in the pond and get rid of it. Okay, he's going to change the six. When you win the question, you can change the card. The six becomes a queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. A three. Higher. Higher than a three. No, it's a two. Oh. Back to you, Jennifer. You have that nine. You have to play. Okay. Let's see. Lower. Lower than nine. It's a two. Higher. Higher than a two. It's an ace. A C E. Lower. Lower than the ace. It's a five. Mm, higher. To win the first game, higher than the five. Yes, good job, Mrs. Slammy. <laughs> Nicely done. That's a thousand dollars. As you know, it takes two games to win a match. Well, you kicked my butt. Yeah, yeah, he deserves a good kick in. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Moving on, okay. Alright, uh Steve. Well actually the question goes to Mrs. Fleming. Steve, you have to win this game in order to continue your championship. Oh gee, I certainly hope I can. Yes. Alright, Mrs. Fleming, your question. This is my question? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Okay, we ask um, 100 marriage counselors, do you think most 21-year-old men are mature enough for marriage? How many marriage counselors said that most 21-year-old men are mature enough? Two. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Did you, did you say two? I said two. Oh, she said two. That was her answer. Okay, she said two. And these are marriage counselors we're talking to. Is it higher or lower than two, Steve? Hmm. Hold on a second. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me for a moment. I don't know what to say. Higher. Going higher than two. Getting out of trouble here. Steve, aren't you? I don't know. Let's see the answer. The actual number of marriage counselors that said most 21-year-old men are mature enough is... 
14. It is higher, just a little bit though. <laughs> All right, uh, Steve, you have the two showing. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, higher. Higher than two. Wait a minute, he's not changing. Okay, higher than the two. It's a seven. Freeze. Freeze on a seven, keeping um, um, Mrs. Um, Fleming away from the cards. And it's your question, Steve. Okay, Steve. We asked 100 married women. Does your husband have any photos of you that are so embarrassing you like to tear them up? How many women said that their husband does have photos like that? Or do have photos like that? Twenty-seven. You said twenty-seven, right? Twenty-seven. Yes, sir. Twenty-seven. Okay, uh, Jennifer, is it higher or lower than twenty-seven? Higher. Going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of women that said their husband do have photos that are like that is thirty. It's just a little higher. You got it, Jennifer. Good job. Good job. Okay, Jennifer, you have the three showing. What do you want to do with that three? Play. She's playing. What's your call? Higher. Higher than a three. It's a seven. Low. She's, she's going for a lower than a seven. No, it's an ace. Free chance, Steve. You must play off the seven. Ow. I'll try what she did. Lower. Okay, lower than seven. It's a king. No good. Uh, All right, this next question goes to you, um, Jennifer. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we, our man on the street went to New York City where he asked 100 tourists, are you afraid of being mugged? How many tourists said they are afraid of being mugged? 97. 97? <laughs> 97? She said 97, Steve. Wow. Oh, my goodness. So what do you think, Steve? Is it higher or lower than 1970? Wow. <laughs> wow, I must say, that's a great guess. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> lower. Lower than 97. <laughs> now, if they're that scared, their ass don't need to be going to New York. <laughs> All right. True. I guess it's New Yorker. Right. <laughs> the actual number of tourists that said they are afraid of being mugged is 46. It is lower. Good job, Steve. Oh, it's so close. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, you have the seven showing. What do you want to do with that seven? I'm going to put it on a fishing rod, and I'm going to put it in the, into the ocean. Change it. The seven becomes a two. Uh, no. Uh, higher. Higher than a two. It's a nine. Uh, uh, lower. He's going for it. Lower than a nine. No, it's a king. Oh, crud. All right, a uh, free chance to you, Jennifer. You have to play off the three. Higher. Higher than a three. No, it's a two. Oh. All right, this is the fourth and final question. So I must win off this play of the cards. So control is critical. Steve, this is your question. How would I do this? And we just simply asked this question to wander millionaires. Are you happy? How many millionaires said they're happy? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bill's coming. The bill's coming. <laughs> Are you happy? No, I say yes. 
75. Going 75. Okay, Jennifer, is it higher or lower than 75? Higher. Going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of millionaires that said they are happy is 91. Good job, Jennifer. It is higher. All right, Jennifer, now you have a decision to make. You have a three showing. You have four cards to go in order to be the new champion. And you do have the power to change that three if you want to. Or you can pass it to Steve. He has a two showing. He does not have the power to change the cards whatsoever. And he has three cards to go. Do you want to play it yourself or pass it to Steve? Pass. Okay, she's passing it to Steve. I knew she was going to do that. All right, Steve, you have to call it right three times. Make one mistake and we have a new champion. Yeah, probably is champion, but I'll go higher. No. Okay, only two cards can hurt, hurt you here. Higher than a two. It's a jack. Continue. God, lower. Lower than a jack. It's a seven. Oh, no. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, well, uh, welcome to the Rumble Lawyer Picture Show. Just let me get you win. Congratulations, you're a good friend. Lower. Hey, Vizzo, you um, top the match. If not, we got a new champion. Lower than seven. Yes, you tied up the game. Good job. Okay, that brings you up to $3,000, Steve. Now we're about to do our three card, three question showdown to see who's going off to the money cards for $144,000. This has been a good game so far. Let's keep it up. This question goes to you, Jennifer. We asked 100 fathers of 18 year old boys. Who's not, who's tapping? Okay, we asked 100 fathers of 18 year old boys. Is your son stronger than you are? Oh, wait a minute. I already asked this question. Excuse me. Let me uh, go to this ne this question. Here's this question. Did I use this question? Well, you know what? I did use this question, but we're going to go use it anyway. We asked 100 fathers of 18-year-old boys, is your son stronger than you are? How many fathers said their son is stronger? Is this me? That's your question, yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. 89. Going to 89. <laughs> Steve, is it higher lower than 89? <laughs> I just love her guesses. Uh, <laughs> Lower. Going lower. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of uh, fathers that said that their that their son is stronger than them is 54. It is lower. Good job, Steve. Yay, Steve. All right, Steve, you have the nine showing. What do you want to do with that nine? Uh, He's changing it. The nine becomes an ace, A-C-E. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lower. Lower than an ace. It's a king. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Lemon. Lower. To win the game, lower than the king. You did it, Steve. You won your game. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> All right, Steve, you're up to $4,000 in just a moment. We're going to head off to the money cards for another $144,000. Jennifer, you didn't play too badly. You got $1,000, and our congratulations, okay? Thank you. All right, uh, Steve, you're off to the money cards, and we're going to get into this very quickly. We ain't going to waste no time because the chase is about to come on in a few minutes. So we're going to get right into this. I wonder who the next player is. Well, this is going to be the last game right now. I know. I'm just curious. I'm getting off the call. 
Yeah. All right, we're gonna get right into this game without delay. Give me a number between one and 52, Steve. Going 35. Fair enough. And once the cards come up, we're going to give you $1,000. There you go, Steve. And for $1,000, your first card is an 8. 7 plus 1. The big old bass need it and change it with number 3. Okay, he's changing the card. The 8 becomes a 5. Well, can't, um, if I bust, I can only go to the second row, but I'll go all the higher. He's going for a bit a lot on the five. Okay, let's see if he's right. All of it's higher than the five. It's a jack, $2,000 in a jack. All of it lower. Okay, oops. Okay, all of it lower than a jack. It's an eight, good job, $4,000 in an eight. $1,000 lower. Okay, $1,000 lower than an eight. No, it's a nine. But you can still have $3,000. We're going to give you back the $1,000 you lost. And you're back at $4,000 and you have the nine showing. I'm going to take the nine and crush it with a bottle of Mountain Dew and change it with a number two. The nine becomes... <laughs> I'm sorry. A six. Four thousand dollars and a six. Crud. Thousand higher. Okay. One thousand dollars. Higher than a six. It's a seven. You have five thousand dollars and a seven. Yeah. Two thousand higher. Okay. Two thousand dollars higher than a seven. It's a six. Ah, that brings you down three thousand dollars, Steve. One, me, one thousand higher. Okay, $1,000. Higher than a six is a queen. Okay, you have $4,000. Now, do you want to keep that queen, Steve? Yes, please. You must be at least $2,000 on this play of the cards. You can bid more with your big bag. I'm going the whole thing lower. Four, $8,000 or nothing lower than a queen. There you go, $8,000. Nicely done, Steve. All right. Okay, with your previous winnings that you have won, that brings your total to $12,000. And you'll play against another t opponent on the next episode of Card Sharks. But uh, this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe. Be careful, take care everybody, and thanks for supporting my channel. Because without you guys, none of this will be possible. Good. Wait a minute, let me make sure. Wait a minute, I screwed that up. Excuse me, let me do that again. All right, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> we only need one thing. <laughs> Sharks has been an RCD production.